All right, so what we've got today is two different words that we're going to try not to give away the words immediately. Two different definitions. I'm going to try not to give away the definitions exactly right away, but I'll hunt those from you for a minute. Uh, but I'm going to do a bunch of numbers, and I'm going to put them in one group or another. So first job I would ask of you is try to figure out how I'm putting some numbers in one list and some numbers in the other list, and then we'll try to make predictions of where things are going to go. So two is this type of number. Three is this type of number. But four is that type of number. Five is this. Six is that. Seven is this. But I'm not just taking turns because eight, nine, and ten go over here. Eleven is back there. Can anybody tell me or willing to make a guess of what my next number is to put in this? category, which will have a name in a minute, it will have a definition in a minute, so will these, but the thought 13. of who's next, 13 is next. 12? Uh, 12 is going to be in this club. Oh. 15 is going to be in this club. Uh. I'll drop this 17. hint. 17 will be next year. I will drop you the hint. These are words you've heard of before, and it's going to be a math thing that you've done before. It's just a question of recognizing what it is and tapping into that. Uh, next one after 17, it goes into that family. 19. Uh, 19 is the next one in this family. 21. 21 is going to be over here. 23. 23 is going to be here. What's it seem close to, but it, it isn't? I was thinking it's uh, like that group is, it, those numbers can't get divided evenly or multiplied evenly. Okay, maybe. So what do we think next over here? Uh, 20, 25, right? Uh, that 25 will be over here. 26. Uh, 26 will be over there. 27. 27's over there. 29. 29 is next in this club. Anybody other than him have a thought on what this is like close to? I mean, it isn't maybe perfectly right, but what it sort of seems like it's going on? What's mostly over here? Odds. odds. Okay, so sometimes people first see this and they're like, oh, you're just doing even and odds. Uh, there's some evidence, though, it's not just even and odds, but it's close to that. Yeah, over here, it's a bunch of odds, but two made the list. So it's not just all the odds <laughs> went here, because I sneaked an even in there, but it's been a while since we've had an even. And if I go over here, I'd have filled in 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Uh, this group isn't just evens, isn't just odds. It's kind of a blend. Okay? There, there's a fair amount of evens over here. There's also a decent amount of odds over here. You know, there, there are some odds. Seems like the odds have a higher chance of going on the left or right. Seems like most of the odds are going. There's a better chance on the left that you've got an odd. Seems like the evens are pretty much on the right. Uh, and he was very much on the right track with what he said. So I don't know if anybody heard what he said. Um, anybody either that heard what he said that can rephrase it or have a theory of your own? What do these numbers all have true about them that puts them over here? That uh, numbers can go into them. Yes, yeah, stuff goes into them. Okay, so basically a simple explanation is if stuff goes into them, they go over here. If you have trouble finding stuff that goes into them, then it's more going over there. So like, why did 27 come over here? Because 3 turns back and goes 3 goes in, 9 goes in. Now, why is 18 over here? Uh, three, 
Three, six both go in. Nine, Nine goes in. Who else goes in? Two goes in. You know, stuff goes in. So who's going to be the next number that gets to go over there? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Thirty-one is the next one that really stuff doesn't go into. Thirty goes over here. Why does thirty get stuck over here? Three times. Three. Times ten. Five. Six. You know, lots of stuff. Uh, let's go one more, and then I'll fish for another fact. Thirty-seven. Uh, Thirty-seven is going to be next. Not thirty-three. Not thirty-five. Why not thirty-three? Three. Three. Why not thirty-five? Okay. Are any more evens going to get to go over here? No, because every even, why does every even have to go on this list? Because two would go into them. Okay, so two is the only one that's even that goes in this list. Every other even has to go over here because two can go into it now. Uh, let's have the name. Anybody know the name of what these numbers are called? I, we, didn't we do something like this last you year? You have done this before, yes. I'm I sure. can't remember that. This is a P word, and that's a C word. You're more likely to remember the P word than the C word. Composite. Okay, you remember the C word. Prove me wrong. Inert. These are called composite numbers. Uh, composite numbers are the ones that, I'll give you a better definition in a minute, but like if stuff goes in, uh, that makes it composite. Usually people remember the P word first. Positive. It's not positive. Positive. It is not positive. Uh, okay. Proper. It is not. <laughs> Prop. I don't know if you're any fans of the Transformers, but it would be a word from that series. Prime. Prime. Uh, <laughs> So, it's not exactly accurate to say stuff doesn't go into these. Who does go into these? One goes into them, and the number itself. Okay, so what I'm going to say for a better definition is that prime have two, what are they called? When numbers go into other numbers. Them, should be in, yeah. Factors? Factors. Prime have two factors. One itself, those are our two factors. So if there's only two factors, one in itself go in, that makes the number prime. Composite, what does composite have going on with its factor counts? Has more than two, has more than two factors. So ignoring one and ignoring itself, if any other number goes in, that makes the number be composite. Uh, what we're going to look to do to our composite numbers is make a thing called prime factorizations, which you've done before. Sounds scary. It's not. Uh, what we do with these prime factorizations is to write a number as a product. What's product mean? The answer of the multiple. It's when we multiply. We're going to write this as a product of primes. In our answers, we can only have primes, and we're looking to do multiplication stuff. So 35 is a composite number. We didn't quite get that high in our list, but that's okay. If I want to write 35 as a product of primes. Um, five, if, number seven. five times seven. Uh, five times seven makes 35. Five is a prime. Seven is a prime. That is a prime factorization. Five times seven, that's our first one with that. 22. I can we do 22? Uh, 11 times two. Yep. So I'm going to always go least to greatest. That doesn't make it right or wrong. But uh, I'm going to go two times 11. Two is on the prime list. 11 is on the prime list. So that is a prime factorization. 19 is tricky. Okay. It's not 1 times 19. Why is it not going to be 1 times 19? Any 
Anybody a thought on 19, why the prime factorization can't be 1 times 19? Because there's no one on the There's no ones up there. So we didn't talk about that. Is 1 a prime? Is 1 a composite? How does 1 fit into this? What's up with 1? 1 is everything. Uh, so you say 1 is like on both lists? Yes. Okay, I'll disagree. Another opinion about one? Yeah, it is prime. Uh, I'll disagree. Why is one not prime? Because oh. it's because it gets times by one and one only. It doesn't have two factors. And how many factors does it have? One. One. One has one factor. So how does one fit into this name game? It doesn't. Yeah, it's the same. So is it prime or is it composite? Yeah. It's neither one. Okay. One is not a prime because it doesn't have two factors. It doesn't have enough to be prime either. It's not composite either because composites have more factors than prime. One is not a prime. So if I ask you to do the prime factorization of 19, you can't use one because we just decided one is not, not a prime. So how would we write the prime factorization of 19, which I said was going to be weird? What? Two times nine point five. Now we're going whole numbers only, but that was a creative <laughs> thought. It's going to be an, uh, a much easier answer than that. The prime factorization of nineteen. It's weird, but it's in fact about as easy of an answer as you could have to a question. Nine times two plus one. No, that's getting complicated. Nineteen. Nineteen. The prime factorization of 19 is 19, <laughs> because 19 is a prime. Okay, if the book or I give you a number that is a prime, just give it back to us. Okay, your job is give us back primes. So if we give you a composite, you have to give us back a couple primes. Uh, if we give you a prime, just give it right back to us. But don't do stop times one, because as again, we said one is Nothing. Nothing. Wow. It's not a problem. One does not exist. 45 is going to be harder. Five times nine. Five times nine is going to be a shot down. Ooh. Five times nine is 45. Five times nine can't be the answer. 15 times three. 15 times three is 45. Can't be the answer. <laughs> Let's circle back. Why can't 5 times 9 be the answer? Oh, because of root prime. Yeah. Who's good in 5 times uh, 9? When you say 5 times 9, nine you're like half good. right and half wrong. 9 is good. No, 5 is good. 5 is good, but 9 is bad. And then he said nine? 3 times 15. If we say 3 times 15, well, it's good to say three. the 3, but it's bad to say the 15. So even though those are making 45, there's like a trick to this one. Anybody do it? Oh, it's 45. It's not, because 45 <laughs> will be in the composite list. <laughs> We're going to eventually use a tool that I know you've seen before. <gasps> is, it, is it 23 times 3? No, because that would that's in the, that's in the sixties. Three times five. That's only fifteen. Ah, uh, I was thinking about the, the, okay. the twenty-three times five. Here, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, remember factor trees? Not the trees. Okay. So when we said five times nine, that was a good start of a good tree. Who did we say we wanted to keep? Number five. Five. But nine can re-split. Nine is three and three. three, and three. three. So the best answer for this would be three times three times five. Taking the stuff from the bottoms of the trees, not taking anything from the middles of the trees. If we had done that the three fifteen way, that's fine too. That would be just as good of a start, but we decided that we were good with three. 15 needs to re-split into 3 and 5. 
and we still got a 3, a 3, and a 5, all the trees should lead to that end. Does it matter how you split it? Which way? No. No, you just need to keep splitting until every number in the end has to be a Right. So 32, somebody just do any split with 32. How can you split 32 into a... Four times eight. Then we'll go to somebody else happy with those numbers or re-splits. Uh, four can go to two. Four can go two times two. Somebody else jump in on the opinion on the eight. What do you say? Eight, keep it or split it? You split four. So who? Four. And two. Four and two. And you split the other four and two. Split the other four and uh two. And two. so we get that all going and we go two times two times. How many twos are there gonna be? Six. Five. See the five. I heard different numbers there. Four. It's five. 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 I said five. Six. Five. So, do, 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 do. Five twos. Yeah, I said five. Question about what we've got going on so far? Oh. So, 72. There's a lot of ways you could split 72, because there are a lot of numbers that go into 72. It doesn't really matter which way you do, but I will tell you, if you want your tree to go a little bit quicker, find two numbers that are kind of close to each other. Okay, So on this, if I want to do this 32 one, it's just a draft that comes through the window moving that line. That's all that is. Uh, 32, I could have gone 2 with 16. And 16, I could have gone 2 with 8. 8, I could have gone 2 with 4. Four, I could have gone two and two. I still got five twos, but it, the tree got kind of big. Okay? If you want to keep the tree shorter, find numbers that are kind of like balanced with each other. What, what do you think? Eight and nine. Eight and nine is as balanced as you can get, and that's going to keep the tree as short as you can keep it. Why don't you keep going? Eight. Uh, four and two. Four and two. Nine. Three and three. Anybody going to go more? Yes. Two. Number four. Four goes two two. Two two. Any more? Uh, no. So who are you keep it? The twos. Or the How many twos? Three twos. Three twos. And two threes. Two threes. There's two things you can do to check these answers if it's a quiz or if you care. Uh, one is make sure everything in the list when you're done is a prime. Prime. The other thing you can do is take all the numbers and multiply them out, see what happens. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 2, we're at 18, 18 times 2, maybe you don't want to do that, but 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 18, it gets you back to 72, if you want to multiply that out. 90, there's a bunch of ways you can get 90. There's no one right pair. My preference personally, and you don't have to do this, is keep the numbers balanced to keep the tree from like going too tall. What do you say? Ten and nine is the most balanced you could get. Splitter key. Two. Two and five. Two and five. Splitter key. Two. And so grand total. Two and five. And I'm going to go from least to greatest, not because it's right or wrong, but because when we come around and start checking answers in in class. If we all go from littlest to biggest, we're all going to have the same answer. Okay? But if we have 3 times 2 times 5 times 3, and somebody says 2 times 5 times 3 times 3, and you're like, what did you say? It's just easier to compare answers with each other if you go littlest to biggest. 96. Good. 12 times 8. 12 times 8 is as balanced as you can get. But if you don't know your 12 times tables, you can always just use twos or use anybody you want to use. Keeps your splits. Split. Let's go with you. How's your split? Uh, six and two. Six and two would be fine. Keep your split. 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 Four and two. Four and two. Any splits? Six. 
into three and two. Uh huh. And then four to two and two. It is. Did I go off camera for that one? Yeah. Uh huh. You give me a little turn back. Mm -hmm. We're good. Uh, so answer. We got some twos. How many twos? Four. Four. Uh, actually, no. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And who else is there? A three. A three. 120? 12 times 10. 12 and 10 is a nice even split. Uh, 2, 6. 2, 5. Agreed. Split D6 and 2, 2 or 3. Agreed. Done. 2 count. 3. 3. Who else? 1, 3. 1, 5. Agreed. So that's what we're doing today. Okay. Question about that. So the homework I think comes in the first section. They'll give you a list of numbers and ask you prime or composite. Yeah, so like if I go 71, 72, 73, who's the composite out of 71, 72, 73? Uh, Why is 72 the composite? Because two. Uh, two can go into it, other things as well. If I go 91, 93, 97, that's about as mean as I can be. Who's the prime? I'm prime. 91. No. 97. Yes. Why is 93 composite? It gets divided by three. How do you know it gets divided by three? We've had this check another because day. Because both numbers, uh, the, the nine can get divided by three, and the three can get divided by three. So it's 31. That works there. But let me go like 83, 87, 89. One of those can be divided by three. Anybody spot which one of those gets divided by three? 87. How do you know? Because it was the odd one. Oh, well, they're all odds. I mean, I, I don't know. I, that was just a guess. Anybody remember the rule for threes? Uh, you, I think you add them both. Add the digits, yeah. 8 plus 7 is 15. Since 3 goes into 15, 3 would go into 87. So 9 plus 3 is 12. Since 3 goes into 12, 3 goes into 93. 91 is composite. Anybody have an idea of who in the world can go into 91? Seven. Seven. The only way you could be sure of this sometimes is pick numbers and just try them. Um, I know two doesn't go in. Okay. Why do I know two doesn't go in? Because it's not even. It's not even. I know three doesn't go in because that adds to Dead. ten. I know five doesn't go in because it doesn't end with uh, zero. zero or five. So... You know, if 7 is going to wreck it, I'd have to divide 7 in and just see what happens. And it goes in 13 times. So that is a composite. That one's a composite. Uh, what you might have to do in some of the homework sometimes is just try to divide see what happens. Uh, we have rules for 2, 3, 5. We don't have a rule for 7. The only way you know if 7 goes in is by trying to see if it goes in. Question about the idea of prime composite or whatever. So here's where we're headed. There's a 143 that goes A to F. So the 143 A to F is like the game that I was just playing with you. They'll give you a small list of numbers and ask you who's prime or who's not prime. On 150, there's a small group of letters. On 150, we're going to do the A to D. They're continuing to play the same game. They give you a list that you just squat. Who's who? The main event is in the back. There's a set X where you're going to do these trees. So in the back, set X, do some trees. There's about 20 minutes left. You can put most, if not all, of that behind you by the time the 20 minutes is up. 143, 150, and X. 